fire. It's the scariest thing you could possibly imagine on a cruise ship. And that's just what passengers woke up to aboard one luxury liner the other day. Plus, Royal Caribbean has released staggering figures about their $75,000 room aboard Icon of the Seas. And while we're talking about Icon of the Seas, I think I know the name of the next ship in the Icon class. And Carnival Cruise Line, they're sending out an apology letter to folks booked on the Radiance. I'll tell you why. Let's roll the intro. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships Channel. I'm your Captain Corey, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Welcome to the Central Ohio Midship Studio. I'm here with Mama Midships, helping to take care of her a little bit here up in Ohio. Man, it's been cold up here. And yes, the eagle-eyed amongst you may notice that this is not my normal microphone holder. No, I left that one back in Florida, so... I just found this in mom's closet and we're gonna use that for the week here. Now let's get the cruise news rolling by calling out a bravo, bravo, bravo. The one thing you as a cruiser never ever want to hear on board your ship. And that's because bravo, bravo, bravo stands for a fire on board a cruise ship. And that's exactly what went down in Sydney, Australia on Friday morning aboard the Viking Orion. Around eight in the morning, smoke could be seen billowing from staterooms, balcony staterooms more specifically, on deck five of the Orion. And it's said that the fire started somewhere on level five and all told three cabins were affected by the blaze. To their credit, Viking's emergency response crew kicked in, evacuated the ship, was able to quickly extinguish the fire that affected three cabins, like I said. Now, the Viking Orion is able to continue on on her cruise, but as a precaution, anyone staying on level five or six of this cruise ship are off now. They don't know exactly what the cause of this blaze was, but as you can see here from this video taken from Twitter, smoke was seen coming out of the cruise ship. Now, passengers were treated for smoke inhalation. Only two that I've been able to glean were treated for this specific condition, and luckily they were not transferred to the hospital, so that is a very, very good outcome for the Viking Orion. Let's keep moving on with the cruise news. We're talking Royal Caribbean. They've got a new ship called Icon of the Seas, and I can't think of a more hotly anticipated cruise ship that I've ever heard of than this particular ship. And it seems like the most affluent cruisers amongst us may be the most excited to get on board this new Icon class of ship. And more specifically, they're excited about a certain type of accommodation. And that's the new Ultimate Family Townhouse that's up for sale on Icon of the Seas. This room starts at around $36,000 per person. And according to some new information coming out from Michael Bailey, the president of Royal Caribbean International, he claims that this Ultimate Family Townhouse is 55% sold out for the 2024 cruise season. And it's not just sold out for 36 grand. No, 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 no. It's sold out for an eye-watering $75,000 per cruise. Could you imagine spending 75 grand on a cruise? Well, if that's you and you're watching, I think the best way to really elevate your Royal Caribbean cruise experience is by checking out the Loyal to Royal shirt in my Amazon cruise swag store. There's the link. It's right up here in the upper right-hand corner. Check it out. There's a link in the description down below. Now let's keep talking about Royal Caribbean and let's even keep talking about the icon class of ships because Royal Caribbean actually held a Twitter poll a couple weeks back that would let you and me and other cruisers help to select the name for the second ship in the Icon fleet. Now, four names were bantered about in this poll. Some of them really weird, some of them really good, and I'm gonna show you the results of this poll. Now, one thing that you might not realize is Royal Caribbean has actually taken up the game to trademark names that they're not even using yet on their ships. So there's a huge list of names 
30 or so names have already been trademarked for Royal Caribbean for ships that don't even exist and might not ever even exist. But let's get into these four names now here, and here are the results of the Twitter poll. With the largest smattering of support, it appears that Star of the Seas has received 44% of the votes to be the next name for the second Icon Class ship, followed by Idol of the Seas, Queen of the Seas, and apparently nobody wants to hear Love of the Seas because it only saw 5% of the votes. And a lot of Twitter users actually participated in the comment section of that post, and there was actually quite a bit of animosity for all of the names the Royal Caribbean had suggested. So again, this is a Twitter poll. This is not official news, but it's interesting to see some of the top picks or potential top picks the Royal Caribbean has in the running for their second Icon class ship. Were it me, I probably wouldn't go with any of those four contenders. I'd be looking for something like the Magnificence of the Seas or the Inspiration of the Seas. I don't know. Comment your favorite potential name for a Royal Caribbean ship down below. Oh, you did know that I'm spending my first two hours after posting every video checking and replying to as many comments, actually all the comments so far that I received. So if you wanna get my attention, the first two hours after this video. Now let's get on to our next cruise news story. We're heading out to the West Coast. We're talking Carnival Radiance, a ship that I just disembarked about two, maybe three weeks ago now. The Radiance is offering short four night cruises down to the Mexican Riviera. And unfortunately, Carnival Cruise Line has had to cancel one particular sailing for the Radiance. That is the December 8th, 2023 sailing. Carnival sent out an email to booked guests informing them that the entire ship is now chartered out and their cruise is unfortunately canceled. Now, fortunately, Carnival is willing to work with cruisers who were booked on board the Radiance for this particular sailing. They'd be happy to lift and shift you at the same price, basically, for the same cruise. The other thing is they're going to give you what I would say is not really much onboard credit, but $25 per person, up to $50 per cabin. So there you go. We're still not sure exactly who chartered out the Radiance, but every once in a while, cruise ships do get a full charter. So if you made it this far into today's episode, thank you so very much for stopping by the channel today. I'd like to invite you to subscribe with the notification bell pushed. And until next time, we'll see ya on the midships. I'd like to welcome you into chilly overcast central Ohio. It's about 55 degrees here. I'll be here for the next week or so. And then it's time to get back to Orlando. My next cruise will be on the MSC Miravilla on February 26th. Hopefully you can catch that cruise. Oh, and later this week, I'm announcing two major cruises, major ocean crossing cruises. So get subscribed. We'll see you tomorrow.